Hey guys and welcome back to another one and today with IVC VPN which is one VPN service that will unlock streaming services around the globe. So I live in Portugal and if I want to access UK, US and other countries uh, content I can using VPN or if I'm living abroad and I want to watch content from my country Portugal then I can activate the VPN and use it like that. Now, if you are looking for Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition keys, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where we can find budget and official OM keys. And with the coupon code, which I will leave down below, you may get Windows 10 Pro at seven US dollars, more or less, or Windows 11 at 13 US dollars. So, so I will leave a link down below just in case you want to check that out. Next to the link for Ivacy VPN, which is a service that it's interesting because it will take care of a a lot of issues and I will share some of them with you. Now in terms of platform, if you ask, hey Robert, can I install on my phone? Yes, you can install practically on everything. It's available for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Linux, Android TV, Fire TV, Smart TVs, extension for browsers and a lot more that you can see right over there on screen. I did test out speeds, which is something that I get asked commonly. Now my connection at this moment is 500 megabits per second on download and one and on upload, which is what I get without any VPN. Using Ivacy VPN, I get roughly half, 227, 230 megabits per second download and 60, 70 megabits per second on upload, which is one of the fastest that I've used so far. So if you are worried about speed, this is enough to stream any service at 4K without any issues whatsoever. Besides streaming and besides all the advantage of a VPN service like Ivacy VPN, we have the warranty that our IP it's not exposed. So in my particular case, sometimes it happens. I'm recording a tutorial that involves an IP, and without intention, I do release my I, my public IP on screen. Fortunately, users like yourself send me a message and say, hey Robert, at the minute something, you have your IP exposed. And then I will there, I go there and I edit the video and blur it out and it's fine. But if we use a VPN service, we are always safe because our IP, it's not exposed. So this is one of the biggest advantages. And of course, it brings a lot more safety on our devices, on our phones, on our Android TV boxes like this and video shields right over here on screen and a lot more. Now, besides all that, streaming, which is the thematic of today, streaming apps and accessing them. I did test out with Netflix. So I live in Portugal and if I want to access UK content, which is exclusively geographically to UK, I can. All I need to do is go to the IVC app and then I select the country. In this particular case, I did test out with UK and it took me there. Now, the disadvantage that I see for people that live in Portugal is that if you don't understand native English, then we will not have subtitles because we are watching the content from UK and obviously there are no subtitles because you're supposed to be English or you're supposed to speak English. But I do believe that if I don't speak English, probably I will not look for exclusive content from UK or US. Now, besides that, everything did work great. I was able to watch UK content. And then when I switched back to Portugal, I was able to watch Portugal content. So that was really nice. I also tested out a service on United States, which is ISPN and we don't have it here in Portugal. Actually, when I do enable the country US, it will take me to the app. I can install it and I can go. I did not pay to watch it, but I was able to use the app. Once I do shut down the connection from Ivacy VPN, what happens is that it will unlock. It will not be able. It will give us an error and it will say something error while blah, 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 blah. It will not work. Now, another example is one of our services here in Portugal, which is Novo, a great app which we use to watch TV right over here. And what happens is that there are a lot of Portuguese people outside Portugal, and I'm sure that this happens the same with you. Now, these people want to watch content from their country, which is Portugal. So what happens is that when they are abroad, they cannot access, even if they pay for this service, which they might through a family member. Using Ivacy VPN, I did test it out. And once I do put 
Portugal as the country, then it will let me access the content, which is really, really awesome. And in my particular case, this is the most useful scenario. If I go traveling abroad and I'm in UK or in US or Germany or something like that, and I want to watch content from my country, Netflix and so on and so forth, then that is the beauty of it. I just need to click one button, Portugal and it will take me here and it will give me the content that I'm used to do. So if, if you are traveling or if you want to watch content from other countries, Ivacy VPN is the way to go. I will leave a link down below. In terms of pricing, they have several different prices and at this moment on time they have promotions and I do believe that from time to time they will have special prices there. But the best price that I see is when you do a long-term contract that you will have a really low price compared with other services. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George today with Ivacy VPN and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.